Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now I am known for three main things in this community. First, I am known for my mod folders. They're among the most popular vids on my channels. They have hundreds of thousands of downloads. Countless players use them. Creators, normal players and staff alike. I have popularized so many mods, which is awesome, but what would happen if I stripped all of those away? Well, I already did a video on that. So today we're going to be stripping away the second thing that I am known for simultaneously, which is texture packs. I can't get enough of texture packs. You guys know that I use a different texture pack basically every single video. I don't know where I find them all, but I can't get enough of those things. I love them. So they're going as well. And the third thing I am known for we don't really like to talk about anymore, but that's also not going to be here. So let's start off by adding a new instance. We'll just call it no mods. We'll scroll down to 1.8.9 and we'll create that. This is a completely fresh build of 1.8.9 it has no texture packs no mods absolutely nothing in fact it doesn't even have any of my settings so we're going to go in here and start setting them all up starting off by turning down that music because as good as it is it's incredibly distracting so oh my gosh this gui scale is disgusting let's start by setting that to large and why is there like so few settings I don't even have Opsafine, dude. Anyway, that's not the suckiest thing about this challenge. The suckiest thing about this challenge is so many of the mods that I actually use aren't even like to give me different things or really benefit me or anything. They're to fix bugs in the game, you know, problems with the game that these mods just completely fix. And now I have to play without them. So first of all, it's the side mouse button fix. It's what I use for my eighth slot hotkey, but it doesn't actually work properly. Skier made a mod to actually fix that. And now I have to play without it. And there's also mouse delay fix, which fixes like a hit detection issue in 1.8, which I'm also going to have to play with that, which will absolutely suck. Like those mods, they don't even really give me anything. Thing. they just fix the game that's broken because of Mojang and now I have to play without them so for our sprint we're actually going to set our other side mouse button it feels weird binding sprint I can't remember the last time I ever actually had to press my sprint key toggle sprint is an absolute blessing and I think we are good to actually go and just direct connect to mc.hypixel.net this is all gonna look so so weird it's so weird to see my chat having a black background behind it again and I've used like a clear transparent background for my chat since forever. Now we got to go into Sky Wars. Let's just hop straight in here and everything looks so ugly. Why is my FOV like so hot? Oh, it's because I normally have dynamic FOV off. That is so unfortunate. I don't have the quick play mod. So we're going to have to join that like an absolute scrub lord. I don't have my light map. I don't have anything. You saw me install this version of Minecraft. I literally have nothing. There's nothing freaky I could have done. We're just hopping straight in here. And to be honest, the default pack I really, really like. So that's not too much of a challenge for me. It's kind of a scam, really. It's mainly the no mods that's a challenge for me and apparently the server lag. I don't know what the heck that fight was, but playing with no mods is gonna suck, dude. And I just realized I can't actually hotkey to my eighth slot while I'm sprinting. Like, look at this. I'm pressing my side mouse button, but nothing is happening. I have to actually let go of sprint, then press it. That is so annoying. Why, Mojang? <laughs> Why are you like this? But I don't know if you guys noticed... Really, the saddest thing about all of this is that I don't have the oof mod. For the first time in like two years or something crazy, I killed somebody and it didn't play my precious little oof when I killed them. And wow, my FOV is so high when I have speed. I'm so grateful for dynamic FOV being off, dude. I forgot how insanely high all of this really is. And that guy just took my kill. That's not very cash money of you, dude. Let's just frog pot all the way over here and exact our revenge. Goodbye, young man. Those are some weird hits, man. Both of the fights I've had so far have been really, really strong. 
strange, but you guys literally saw me install Minecraft. We can't be doing anything weird. This is just Hypixel lag and European ping combined. But it looks like we're actually about to win our first game. I may have spoken too soon because we're making stupid plays and jumping across when he's bowing at me, but we actually take like no damage. I don't even remember like looting any armor or anything, but this feels good, man. I'll tell you what, having no mods actually sucks, but there's one amazing thing about it. Look how many FPS I'm actually getting, dude. It is nutty. I forgot what my computer was actually capable of because I have such an overkill PC, yet usually I only get like 300 FPS. I know only, but for how good my PC is, that's actually kind of low for Minecraft. But like now I've realized it must just be the stupid amount of mods that I actually use that's just lagging me out because over a thousand FPS when sitting in the cage, that is actually unreal, dude. And I've noticed I am playing so much worse. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it is. I am playing terribly. Literally, I just finished recording another video right before this and I was playing insanely good, but now I'm playing terribly, dude. I really don't like holding down my sprint key. I think that's incredibly distracting. Honestly, anybody that does, doesn't does use a toggle sprint mod, you are missing out. And everything just feels so clunky. I don't know what it, well, I do know what it is. It's the 1.8 animations. I haven't seen these in years because 1.7 is superior okay i use 1.7 animations all the way 1.8 just looks terrible everything's so rigid and blocky and i know it actually has no effect whatsoever it's purely cosmetic but everything being so rigid and blocky makes me actually feel like my pvp is rigid and blocky if that somehow makes sense like i said i know it's all placebo but because it feels clunky i'm playing like it's clunky if that makes sense and where the heck did this dude go? He just pulled a Houdini on us and fell into the void. What? How did you even manage that, man? I've also noticed why it looks like I'm using reach now. Literally, I was doubting myself on that hit in the first game, and I've been trying to figure it out because the server isn't actually that laggy. But it turns out it's because of the FOV, dude. Look how high my FOV is when I have speed now. Like, everything looks so much further away. So, of course, it's going to look like I have reach because everyone looks further away. So, it looks like my reach is further than it actually is. Like, it's actually ridiculous. I mean, I kind of miss playing on a high FOV. I'm not going to lie i used to be a quick pro scrub when i very st first started my youtube career literally i would only play on quake pro and the only reason i switched back to a normal fov was because everyone was complaining in my comments that they couldn't actually see the game like i'm wishing <laughs> i wish that was an excuse or something but it's genuinely the 100 truth i got so many comments from people saying they couldn't see what was happening because it was so far away and quake pro just looks disgusting and now i see where they're coming from honestly it does look ridiculous. I don't know how I ever played on it, but it is quite nice getting to use a higher FOV, at least when I have speed again. It feels kind of, kind of smooth. I mean, everything else feels horrible, so it kind of takes away from it. But, you know, this, this guy really likes running. What the heck? All you've done all game is run, my guy. <laughs> Maybe if he left click, you know, he would have got us. He had hearts after all. I can't get over those FPS, dude. That is so, so nice to look at. I'm proud of you, computer. You might blue screen all the time when I'm editing, but you are a powerful little boy. But honestly, maybe that's how that last dude got his heart's projectile trail. Just boring his opponents to death, you know, just running around in circles, never fighting anybody. The other people either end up walking off by themselves because, you know, they are Sky Wars players after all, or they just think, screw this, I'm not bothering with this guy, and they just log out. It's actually ingenious, dude. Like, this guy is just 10,000 steps of evolution above us. The guy is thinking with 100% of the brain. Maybe that's how I should go for Masters Division, dude. Everyone knows everybody up in like the Diamond Masters Division bracket is like super, super toxic. So we'll just run around, annoy them, waste their time. They'll death threat us and then they'll get banned and then I'll get the win because you know they won't be in the game anymore. <laughs> it's actually a genius idea, dude. I should have done this back when chat was actually allowed in ranked and Oh, 
everything feels so bad, dude. I really don't like this. I feel like my aim's also worse because of the FOV differences. Like, if you don't know, your sensitivity a little bit, not too much, but it slightly correlates. Okay, I'm going to reattempt that because I completely lost track of my thoughts. But your FOV and your sense percent are actually kind of correlated. So your FOV will actually change your sensitivity slightly. So, yeah, I feel like that's... I, I'm just making so many excuses at this point. And that was another hearts guy who didn't want to fight me and said noob suck l was that the exact same guy i mean i'm supposed to be the one saying the toxic stuff so i'm the one that gets banned and then you get the win but it doesn't quite work that way around my guy i don't know why he had such an aversion to fighting me why does everybody have an aversion to fighting me come on man i know you have a skeptic i i just tried to up to find zoom at his face but I, I, I just don't have Optifine. This is so sad. Who doesn't even use Optifine? You had pearls this entire time? Man, Skywars players continue to amaze me. He's probably got another pearl as well. And now he's just running away from me with speed. I have speed potions too, dude. Also, I've been using a stone sword this entire game. And I have diamond swords and an enchanted diamond axe. I'm just going to use this though. I don't know what it is. Axe PvP feels so clean. Is he using the Jester sword? That thing's got to have knockback on it, right? I just made a mistake walking up these stairs. I don't know how he didn't knock me off, but I'll take it, dude. Die. How have you only just looted your first chest, dude? Sky Wars players are so, so cute. I always wonder how I am the first person at middle every single game. Like, really, all I do in my head is I just loot my island chest, and then I just go over to middle. I have no idea what takes everybody else so long, but then I see people like that, and it truly makes me realize i am in the one percent of sky wars players but i am still a sky wars player at heart the, the only time i ever die in this game is actually to myself if you guys saw how much i actually walk off by myself you'd all probably unsubscribe which you know doesn't sound too cool so i hide it from the majority of you those that watch my live streams if you don't you totally should turn my channel notifications on and then you'll get notified whenever i stream but yeah those that watch my streams they know my true secrets dude they see everything raw unfiltered unedited uncut they see everything embarrassing about my gameplay and there is no escape for you young man apparently there are two other people alive but i've just traversed across the entire map and not seen either of them okay there's one. Oh, i thought this was a trap dude i almost just walked it is a trap uh, this is painful charge creepers actually hurt a ton when they blow up so i'm just going to get out of there for a second and you poor soul there is no escape for you and apparently there's one other person left not being able to optify zoom sucks dude i keep trying to do it i feel like he's over there where all that water is but i'm not too sure speaking of up oh is he over there dude i i wish i could zoom on that honestly back when i was a mod there was actually a debate within the staff team because somebody on the forums made a thread saying that they should ban optifine as a mod because the zoom is an advantage i wish i was joking it's genuinely a debate i had within the staff team about somebody who made a th forum thread saying optifine should be a blacklisted mod Needless to say, that was disregarded almost instantly, but it actually amazes me, dude. The Hypixel forums is just the epitome of human intelligence. You will find the soundest arguments in the world over there, but I hope you all did enjoy this video. I'm so glad that it's over because honestly, even though I was still able to slay out and get those wins and everything, that felt terrible and I never want to do that ever again. So thank you all so much for watching and suffering through this with me. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here and I will see you all soon. Peace. Epic. Three letters, don't forget it. Pronounce soul, but I got soul in excess. The next best to the best, but the best ain't rain yet. So I guess we all kings, yes. A rising tide will raise all boats, but if you throw stones.